Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Remember to check out your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. Virgo, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm truly grateful. The likes, the shares, the subscribes, they really do help me out. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, one Divine Feather message, and one quote from a famous person. Virgo, here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Virgo, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a great card. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It is the Gateway card. It is a gift from the universe. It is a healthy new beginning. There's potential here. Now this is money that can be found to begin a new enterprise. It can even be recognizing your calling as your fate and chance. It's divine guidance from the universe. It's a new beginning in a financial situation. It's health and vitality. New money, new success, new opportunity. There's stability and potential here. It's a seed to be nurtured. And you can find inspiration and joy in nature. This is planting seeds. It's an opportunity for real growth. It can be the beginning of a new project, a chance to pr improve your health. It's a gift you can use to invest in future gain. It's feeling motivated and ready for a challenge. It's breaking new ground, seeking wealth and security. It's offering or receiving money and creating value. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Virgo. The Eight of Wands, fire energy. This is Mercury in Sagittarius. This is a card of fast action and communication. Things are happening so fast, it's like the air is crackling with activity. There's lots of opportunities here, and it's full of surprises. It's movement, it's action, it's a sudden burst of energy. Now it's up to you to choose some of these opportunities. Some of them could be one in a lifetime. But it does carry a particular risk. These can be relationship messages coming and about to go forward. It can be air travel, it's being in the flow, it's movement, action, things happening rapidly. It's a very busy and exciting, hopeful period. It's positive things unfolding, and it's the end of delay. It's messages, letters of love, approach to a goal. This can also be being in love. It can represent infatuation in Cupid's arrows, an instant attraction. It's moving more rapidly towards a goal, and continuing on your plans and being poised to hit the target. The Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands is receiving good news. It's a financial new beginning with news, our communication, and it came in fast. This is potential and excitement. It can even represent physical exercise. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Virgo. The Four of Swords, Air Energy, this is Jupiter in Libra, mental expansion through rest. This is a time of resting, convalescing, gathering up your strength, making plans, and some of these plans you might be keeping to yourself. It's now a relaxation of what happened with the Three of Swords. It's contemplating your next move. 
there could be a break or a separation in a relationship. But this is a needed rest to gain back your strength, and you should be taking it easy. It's thinking over a problem so you can make the right decision. And it's a rest and a retreat after a struggle, and it's a quiet period for thinking things through. It's meditation, allowing yourself some peace and quiet and relaxing and taking life easy. Taking life easy so that you can, your mind can focus on the issue. There is a silver lining. It's you that is in control. Now this is stabilizing the wounds that were received in the Three of Swords and recovering your strength. It's healing sleep and dreams. It's a needed relief from mental stress and being hungry for quiet. It's the end of conflict and it's being detached from drama. And that's what you want. It's tying up loose ends. It's stabilizing. This can also be resting and recuperating, even a hospital stay. The Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Swords is healing quickly. It's meditation and healing from surgery. Your fourth card. It's a position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Virgo, you've got the Ten of Swords, more air energy. This is Gemini energy. Now, this is the end of backstabbing gossip, the end of a period of trials and tribulations. That is the dawn coming up, and soon you'll see the sun, because now this is the end, and there's nowhere to go but up. It's a lesson to learn. There's no return and no making the same mistakes twice. It's a painful ending and broken trust. It's something that can no longer be fixed, and now your focus must be on starting to manifest a new beginning. This is allowing change rather than fighting it. It's preparing and planning. And this is the final ordeal, and you have received deep wounds. But it won't last her forever, and you will survive. These are painful endings, and in being deeply wounded, there's been a loss or a lack of support. But now there's renewed hope on the horizon. Peace and calm can be found. You could be grieving the pain. There could be a loss. You could be reeling from a hurt. You'll need to let go and accept current circumstances, and this ordeal will pass. The Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords is feeling like it's over before it even started, or even before it began. This can also represent a theft or a con of something, new money or luck. This could have been a promise that was made and not kept, or money counted on may not arrive. It's a need for a new beginning, a new start. This can represent a secret being exposed. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others yet. But you are consciously aware of this, Virgo. Number four of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Emperor. This can represent an Aries. Aries can be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This can be a father or an authority figure. This can be a boss. It is someone that can be very controlling. They have the higher, highest standards. They can be proud and rather intimidating. And they might be hard to please because of those high standards. This is someone that's very confident. You may have heard them say things like, I've been there, done that, and they command respect. And they think they're untouchable, and they could care less about criticism. This can be uh, Aries in your chart, or even Scorpio. This is the Divine Masculine card, representing authority and leadership. Paternity. The regulation of life by law, order and structure, and stability. Now this is leadership, 
It's mental activity and domination. It's the fruits of toil and the results of action. This is also controlled and directed sexual drive and attention, and exercising power wisely with structure and control. This is adhering to authority, laws, and rules, which can be become repressive at times, because this is someone very powerful. They rule, and maybe you feel like you're under their influence. This is love through healthy boundaries, stability, power, and protection. This is a great person. It's conviction, authority, and will, and supreme authority, and worldly power. This is a beneficent ruler, and they will fight for what is right, and what is their duty to protect. They're a father figure. They could be giving fatherly advice. They're a solid leader, a natural-born leader, and they have the right to rule. So look for issues related to authority. This is a protective male force, especially of the home and of domestic harmony. This is someone who imposes order and rules for the sake of peace and harmony. The Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor card can represent new money that you control. could be money from an authority figure, mom or dad. It's creative empowerment. It can be a government job or potential in the stock market. It's potential with bossing up and leading. The Eight of Wands with the Four of Swords is movement and communication. It's planning and rest. It can also represent the internet, even YouTube or telecom. It's overthinking and getting ready. The Eight of Wands with the Ten of Swords is escaping problems. It's swift movement leading to the end. The Four of Swords with the Ten of Swords is resting, overthinking, there's a new tomorrow, and the adventure of true recovery has just begun. This is a recovery from an illness and burdens. The Four of Swords with the Emperor card, this echoes isolation from being bothered by others or what they are doing. This can also represent a hospital. The Ten of Swords with the Emperor is feeling just like a number or lost in the system. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron Reed. Virgo, you've got card number 31. Why? Card number 31. Why, Virgo? Why? The, the essential meanings are motives, driving, intention, the power of knowing the why. The Oracle's message, there is a great power in understanding your motives right now. The Oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behave, behaving in this way, and, most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intentions will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it, this invisible why is the life force energy within the seed which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. Here's the relationship message. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this and why did I say that, and spend some time in introspection, the answers may be surprising. Listen to the message from your intuition, from the knowing deep within you. What does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles and deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today. Why? Here's the prosperity message. Knowing the motives behind your career and creative ventures is the ticket to your greatest success. It's time to ask yourself some probing questions. Are you driven by a desire to serve? Does your prosperity impact the greater good? Do you envision your most prosperous life? Are you guided by a sense of purpose or by a need to make money, acquire things, save for the future, or all of these? 
No motive is good or bad, but having agendas hidden from yourself will lead to disappointment and possibly failure. Be clear about why you want the things you do. If the motives are true, accept them. If they are not, change them so you can step into your extraordinary life. Here's your Divine Feather Message by Allison DiNicola. And this is the feather of Finch. New opportunities and choices are opening to you now. Claim them. Virgo, Finch. New opportunities and choices are opening to you now. Claim them. Well, that's the Ace of Pentacles for sure. And now here's your quote from a famous person. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Thomas A. Edison. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Thomas Edison. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.